Greetings commanders, this is Commander Atlas Rand. Today I've got a short video for you, and I'm going to try and make it short. I know you guys have been saying I can't make a short video even if I try, but hopefully this will be one. Uh, I've got a, uh, a fun way of getting merits for you today. We've been looking at what are the most efficient ways, what ways can you grind out to get the highest standing. I, I kind of need a little break from that. So I wanted to do something that still generates merits, but is actually kind of fun. It's obviously not going to generate as many, as many merits. However, um, I think the fun aspect uh, makes it worth doing. So let me show you the build first, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to be um, shooting some enemy targets. But uh, well, if I go in here... And show you the build. So this is a Python Mark II. And it's set up with... Oh, come on. Hurry up. There we go. It's set up with Packhound rockets or missiles. Um, this is a, something that you can unlock... You can tell I've got some legal issues because I've been shooting ships with these things. Um, this is an unlockable thing. Uh, there's a, uh, uh, I mean, these days you can unlock them from anybody, but some powers faster than others. I actually happen to have all these from PowerPlay 1.0. Um, so, in fact, this is one of the things I was looking forward to, to doing a large number of unlocks with PowerPlay 2 is that I could actually sell a lot of these things because I could buy them any time instead of having like 15 of these sitting in storage just in case, which is what I used to do is just buy all the power play items in large quantities and then hold on to them just in case. Uh, you could also use regular heat seeking or uh, seeker missiles as well. Um, let me see if I even have any of those. So, yeah, no, Packhound, Seeker, that's a pre-engineered, so it's a little different. But um, if you do have Packhounds, use them. They'll last a little longer. If you don't, you can use a regular Seeker missiles, the biggest ones that you can fit in here. So probably four Class 3s and then two Class 2s. And um, the reason that I'm using this ship is because I actually do want six of these things here. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Uh, a bunch of shield boosters, point turret, everything A-rated, and uh, I've got mine mostly engineered, meaning everything's engineered, but I don't have any of the, um, what do you call them, uh, uh, bonus things. What What is that called? I keep forgetting. Um so if I had, so the, yeah, the experimental effects, that's why I don't have on any of these, none of them, because this is a brand new ship. I literally just bought this for this test and it works fine. So I'm using it. Internals, I've got a bi-weave, a large size 6C shield. Um, this is also reinforced engineered to make it a little bit bigger. Guardian uh, could be regular, doesn't have to be Guardian, but I have a module resource and package here. So I don't lose modules. And then these are hull reinforcement. This is, if we lose the shield, this will keep me safe enough to fly out of there and not blow up. That's about it. Of course, you got to have a paint color that's annoying to the people you're shooting. And uh, let's go ahead and launch. Um, and then we are in a system that there is an enemy stronghold here. Interesting thing is you can actually bring your carrier to an enemy stronghold site, no problem, and sort of have your miniature base uh, real close to their stronghold. So if I go to here, you can see this is the stronghold carrier, and I'm parked over here, no problem at all. Um, so, let's fly over there. 
charging FFDs. While we're flying, I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to annoy the carrier fleet itself enough to get them to send their fighters after me. I'm going to avoid shooting any actual piloted ships uh, because those generate a fairly substantial bounty. And I'm going to limit the ships that I'm targeting to the fighters that are flying out of the stronghold carrier. What this lets me do is collect about 65 to, or I saw I think both 65 and 75, but somewhere around in that range merits per kill. And you're going to have quite a few kills from a single load of missiles here. So um, it actually probably it would be a, a good idea to track this, but I haven't tracked it at this point. I've just been doing this for fun, mostly rather than for specifically hitting a number of merits. But uh, if you watch the video, you could probably do the math pretty quickly. Figure out how many total kills I've had, multiply that by 65 or 70, and then that'll be the merits. I'm going to guesstimate when I did this previously as a test, I probably took out somewhere around 20 fighters. So that'd probably be about one and a half thousand merits, um, which is certainly less than you could do if you're doing, um, uh, you know, trading goods. But, oops, missed it. Loop of shame. But this is a lot more fun. And um, if you're going to do any activity and you want to get merits, you might as well alternate between doing activities that are less enjoyable but generate a lot of merits and activities that are more fun but don't generate quite as few merits. Now, amazingly, I can actually fly fairly close to this group without getting shot at first. Eventually, they'll figure out who I am and start shooting. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly towards the back ship. Ooh, who are all these people? So these are... Uh, Felicia Winters. Okay. And I think that's what we're going to be killing. It's Felicia Winters' ships here. Um, so we're going to go up to this, this guy right here. Nice and close to him. We're going to get start getting scanned soon and then start attacking us. Um, we want to target Fighter Bay. And we're just going to do one volley of missiles. Just to get them to start sending some uh, ships after us. Like that. And then I'm going to turn away. Put it in assist off. And just start flying away. While spinning around. To see what they're going to be uh, sending after me. Now, you can see those fighters coming out. Let's target one of these. You can see that that's a fighter. So, the carrier that we shot is starting to spawn its fighters to go after me. This is going to be our main targets, the fighters. I'm actually going to slow down here by turning off the assist off. I want to give them a chance to catch up to this guy's coming in fast. I'm going to go back into assist off. And then we're probably going to take this guy out first. Uh, shoot at less than two kilometers when you're locked. And I'm going to go right, left, and then right. And that should do it. Yep, he's dead. So I've got my first kill, 65 merits. Now it's just a matter of flying around and taking out these fighters. Here comes the next one. He's going away. How about this guy? You coming with me? No, nope, you're further away. This guy is chasing me. Okay, so the further away we are, the less chance I have of killing him because he'll be able to shoot down my missiles and avoid them. So I'm actually going to chase him down now. I'm going to follow him and get within about two kilometers before I shoot so I'm basically flying in a ring around these stronghold carriers. So one, two, three. And he's dead. How about the next guy? I'm going to start flying towards him. And it's targeting. One, two, two should be enough for this distance. 
Oh, maybe not. No, I'm definitely not. Okay. So he got to be too far away. This guy's closer. So I'm going to fly towards him. Oh, that's not that. Yeah. Don't shoot them. They're actual ships. We want to only shoot the fighters. That minimizes the bounties. So I'm going to avoid the ships. I'm going to fly past these guys. Hopefully that will get them to send more fighters after us. But I'm going to avoid shooting the... Uh, uh, the actual ships and only focus on the fighters. Okay, let's see what they got here. Are they sending stuff after us? So there's there's a fighter, I think. Yep. Come on, follow me. There you go. Good job. Keep coming here. And I'm, I'm going way too close to these ships. I really shouldn't be doing this. Uh, this just chews through my shields faster when I'm this close. Um, and I'm not going to slow down until I'm well past the uh, range of these actual armada itself. But I'm just drifting at 400 meters per second. Shields are slowly going down. Okay, let's find a fighter to kill. Here's one. You're close. Let's get you. And we'll accelerate through here as well. So one, two. He's pretty close. I don't know if I'm going to need a third one. Yep, I'm going to need a third shot at him. Nope, his shield's healed up. Okay, let's get some of these guys done. Uh, we'll just fly at them. But now that we're out of range of the actual uh, armada, shields should now hold up pretty well. Um, I might bump a little more into the shields. Not that much. There we go. And then, let's see, who is the closest fighter? This guy's pretty close. Under, as soon as we target him, oh, lost targeting. As soon as we target him, we'll shoot off a couple here at him. And here's one right here that's pretty close. Okay, somebody's closer. I got you guys up here shooting at me. Okay. Yeah, you're close. You're under two. He's dead. So if they're really close, it only takes two shots. If they're a little further away, it usually takes three shots. Okay, no one's shooting at me. Gives my shields a little chance to recover. And I'm going to start flying back the other way. This time I'm going to try and fly a little further from the fleet. I kind of got a little too close. That shooting my shields down a little more than it should have. Uh, there we go. All right. So what do we got? There's the fighters over there. There's a ship over here. We're going to avoid the ships. Don't need the uh, the highly negative uh, bounties. Okay, that's way too far away. Come on, guys. Go over here. Well, maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll stay on this side of the fleet and I'll just chase these guys down since they're all over here. Um, I can fly through the middle of them here. So I'll target one of these as they're getting closer to me. And one, two. See, that's enough. Nope. Let's shoot another one. Oh, he's far away. Never mind. He got away. Where are they? They're all back here. All right. How about you? You're close by. Let's get you killed. I uh, lost them. Damn it. Okay, we shot off three just to make sure we get that killed. All right. You're close. Let's kill you. So you can do it with two, three kind of ensures that it's a kill. You're really close. Let's get you. Okay, my shields are down, but that's right. These guys don't do a whole lot of damage, so I can just keep going. 
killing him. We're far enough away. Okay, you're close. Do three against him. Yep. Oh, there's somebody up here. Yeah. Although he's flying away, so we may not kill him. Who's this? These are ships, so I want to get away from the ships. I'm going to change direction. Thy way. Shields at 48. Let's get shields all the way up, and then uh, my hull's at 74, so I definitely want shields up. We're going to fly in a direction where nobody's shooting at us for a while. Accelerate out to full speed, and then systems back up all the shield reinforcements are uh, resistance based that way the shield recharge time is short but it doesn't mean that the shield doesn't last as long before it goes down but really if I wouldn't have flown in the middle of that fleet my shield would have never gone down at all okay so we're at half so we can start flying back. Now this guy is a ship. We don't want anything to do with ships. We're just looking for more of the fighters. So let's fly away from the ships. Pass the fleet again, but not too close. And let's see if they'll send some fighters this way. That's another good thing about doing this in a Python Mark II is uh, you've got good boost. All right, send some fighters our way. So at this point, you can actually stop watching the video because I'm just going to keep doing this until I run out of missiles. And I've got 168 on the right side and 192 on the left side. Um, if you want to keep watching, by all means, do. But... Uh, if I, if I don't tell you that I'm not going to do anything different, then you're going to say another long video for no good reason. So um, if you, uh, you want to go watch another video, this is a good time to just leave and do that. If you want to watch me make mistakes, by all means, stay here and see what I do with uh, this fleet as I use up the remainder of my missiles. So I've decided that... Uh, Clearly, I haven't gotten shot enough, so I'm going to fly over here. You can see those little glowing dots. Those are all fighters. So I'm actually going to go in the general direction of fighters. There we go. Get them a little closer. Get them shooting at me. And uh, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Let's target them real quick. Three shots. You should be dead. Yep. There's another one. Target him. And there's three. And he's dead. All right. What do we got? Another fighter right here. Let's get him targeted. Next one. Okay, now they're starting to be farther away. Oh, no, there's some closer ones yet. This guy is a little closer, but they're... Okay, I'm going to put on the brakes. They're starting to fly back towards the ship. Piggy Pig. Great name. Now I'm going to fly back towards them, but away from the uh, fleet, like so. Assist off. And let's see how close you get. Come on. Closer. I actually can fire at this distance, but I'm less likely to hit. So I'm going to fly up towards them again here. See if I can fly through this barrage of fighters. There we go. And he's dead. Uh, what else?
else is near me here, guys. There's got to be some more of these. I just flew through. Oh, there we go. Okay, too far. Somebody's shooting at me. These guys are close. Let's pick one of these. One, two, three. Well, oh, just two that time. There's the third one. And the third one finished them. Now, if, you, if you're really close, you can do it with two volleys, but if you're not super close, three is safer. And sometimes you don't get him because he was already starting to be further away. I'm getting shot by something, but not too badly. Uh, come on, fly towards me. There we go. All right. There's uh, another one that was shooting me targeted. Let's kill him. He's reasonably close, although he's flying away. Yeah, let's start heading back and just crisscross again. Staying away from the carrier again, flying this way, but kind of towards these guys a little bit. One, two, three. He might be too far away that that won't kill him. Yeah. See, the further they are, the better they can invade this. Okay, now I'm going to fly to get closer to these guys. There we go. All right. How about you? Yep, he's dead. So, anybody keeping track how many kills I've had here? Um, I probably should, but I'm not. But each of those just multiply by 65. Oh, that's not going to do it because he flew too far away. Yeah. Let's get closer to him. Okay, there we go. That... that Spent a lot of missiles on that. So you can see I'm getting merits for these, but I'm not getting any bounties. Which is why shooting the fighters works really well. And as you can see, I'm also not doing anything different than what I was doing earlier. I'm just basically flying back and forth. Another 65 merits. Okay. I'm going to avoid flying through this. Although I seem like I kind of am. Okay. Let's go over this way. I don't want to get too close. But I've gotten too close. But the shields are at 797, so I'm, I'm all right. I'm doing okay. There's a fighter. Fighters show up as just little glowy dots. Oh, there's some more fighters around me. Uh, there's one right. Is this a fighter? Nope, that's a ship. That's not a fighter. That's not a fighter. Uh, you a fighter? You are a fighter. Okay. Yep, got him. You do overheat a little bit with this many of the uh, uh, pack hounds, but it, it goes away pretty quick. You don't need to actually have active cooling or anything like Wow, there's a lot of them chasing me here. This is fun. There we go. This guy's closer. Something closer to me now. Yeah, what are these? Are you a fighter? I hope. Uh, Alright. Ship 
Now, some people really get, are good at doing external views while you're flying. I can't target that way, so I might look at go external, but I'm not going to be able to target. All right, and he ran away, and they're all heading back, so I'm going to make another flight past them. Hopefully staying away from the carrier group. There we go. Oh, uh, nope, got him. Okay, I thought he got away. All right, see if any of them are chasing me. Nope. Pilot is power security four. Competence in a Cobra Mark four. Shoot one hundred percent. Hull at one hundred percent. Lost target. There's some more. Um, out of range. So twenty four left, seventy two left on there. So we're getting close to having fully used this up. Gotcha. So, as you can see, um, we're probably, I'm sure we've shot more than 10. Um, yep, got him. One good thing is once you have a target lock, oop, he flew by me, let's spin around and chase him. Once you have a target lock, even if they're not directly visible in front of you, you can still shoot the missiles. So I'm gonna shoot the first volley right now. Second volley, you can't see him, and third volley, you can't see him again. All three of those volleys are gonna chase him down and kill him. So seeker missiles, and in particular, I like the pack hound ones. Not only visually, because they look neat, but also just the way they work. Let's fly towards this guy, and then I'm gonna try getting a third party perspective here so i'm gonna shoot 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 and then oh well that was great you can't see anything <laughs> would have been better off staying in the cockpit all right i got a 200 credit bounty for something all right where'd you go you're close so i should be able to shoot you nope Target lost. They're small, so you gotta get close to get the targeting. Okay, out of ammo. And the other side just has 24. Let's just kill this last guy here. Um, get a little closer to him. Oh, that's an actual ship. Okay, I don't want to be killing that guy. That also explains why he didn't die. So I shot at him, but I didn't kill him. Uh, let's see. We've got. A, there's got to be some uh, fighters still flying around here. How about how about you? You're a fighter, right? Yeah. Let's kill this guy. There we go. We have very little left. That's a fighter. And this is going to be probably our last kill here. Did I get him? Nope. Offline. Come on. Almost dead. Let's finish him. There we go. And we just have eight missiles left.
isn't gonna kill anything. Okay, that's a ship. We're not gonna kill him. Uh, all right, that's it. I'm just gonna shoot these. Well, I guess I need something to target to shoot these, but um, we're not gonna be able to kill anything with eight. So let me just do a, I can shoot, send them at this ship. It's not gonna kill them, but I might as well get rid of the missiles. You can see how little damage they do to the actual ship too. But there's all eight of them. Barely, barely damage his shields. So the missiles are not great for shooting enemy ships at all. What they are good for is getting rid of fighters. And that's why having a ship like this, let's get this into engine, that has uh, six slots that you can put missiles on lets you stay out here longer. So I'm, I'm too lazy to go through the video and actually count the number of kills that I had. Um, there's software that I could be running that would have calculated that for me as well. Not running it right now. But just guesstimating, um, knowing that it takes about 12, three volleys or 12 missiles to kill a ship and I came out here with 200 missiles I think on each side so 400 so probably shot 50 ships 50 ships at 65 um, merits is what that's like three and a half thousand three hot three thousand two hundred and fifty ish yeah probably about yeah, closer to three and a half thousand. Um, all right, you guys can retract. So, bottom line is, um, you know, it's not bad. Uh, it's a fun way to get three and a half thousand merits in, before flying back and reloading. I don't certainly think this pace is going to beat other methods of getting merits by any means. But if you want to do some space combat and do it in a way that isn't earning you a whole bunch of um, bounties placed against you uh, this is a pretty good way to do it you do have to fly into an enemy stronghold system that has a strong that has a carrier there not all of the systems that are, are popping up as strongholds have carriers there's a little dot on the icon here I can show you um, so do you see this little dot right here next to the star that indicates that there's a carrier here and if I just look for strongholds in general, for like everybody, all the strongholds. Um, so you can see this one has a carrier. This one has a carrier. Let me find one that does. Well, of course, now they all do. Earlier when I was looking, some of them did not have carriers. They didn't have the little dot there. They, uh, oh, here's one. Okay, see this? So this stronghold has a carrier. This comes up under stronghold, doesn't have the dot, so it's not going to have a carrier. Um, but it's still a stronghold. So something for you guys to track is if you if you look at only strongholds, if they have a little dot, there should be a carrier sitting there. And I don't know why some of them have that and why some of them don't, but that seems to be the case. All right, so there... So much for short video, but uh, hey, at least I told people they can stop watching while it was still short. For all you that kept watching, I appreciate it. Thanks, and uh, hopefully you got something out of this video. Try having fun while making merits. I'll catch you all in the next one.